How was the ban received in the U.S. and in Europe? For the most part, it seemed as if they knew what we were going to do, but we went to Yugos when what was then Yugoslavia, um, which was a communist country, the most westernized of the communist countries. But we went there, and they had not gotten the, the bitches brew records. They <laughs> they didn't know, and so we started playing, man. And they they were like in shock. What? Boo! They were booing us. They were throwing things. They were hollering out, you know, Green Dolphin Street. <laughs> you know? Bye bye, Blackbird. <laughs> and we were going, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> they didn't know what was going on there. But that was, it, it wasn't, most, for the most part, they, I, they, they kind of knew what we were going to do. But that that particular, <laughs> I remember that man. They, were, they didn't know what was going on. <laughs> what are they playing? I mean, we've got that sometimes, you know. But uh, it, it, some of the venues we were playing were were more oriented for that. You know, we weren't playing jazz clubs. You know, we were playing concert halls. So. Um, you know, I think they, for the most part, we were accepted, you know, uh, and and also, we, well, we, I tell you, we did the portrait in, in Portugal, in Cascai, we were, we played the night Charlie Hayden got arrested, you know, we were there that night, um, and I think, well, no, I've seen some articles, you know about it. it they, they were all accepted of the Now, in, in, in hindsight, they love it, you know. At the time, you know, you had critics who didn't under, quite understand it and who said we wish he would play some of the other stuff, you know. But no, they accepted us, you know. Because one thing, with Miles, he was such an uh, artist that it was not just a concert, it was an event. So that makes it different, you know? So it didn't matter. It almost didn't matter what he did. It was an event. And Miles was the star of it.
Thank <laughs> you.